Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. We are going to do a taste test on chicken chips. Chicken chips. Chicken chips. Chicken chips. Chips made out of chicken. Crazy. All right, so I have two flavors that we're gonna go over today. I have the uh, Nashville hot and then the sea salt and vinegar. The company that makes these chips is called Wild Brand. And to be honest, I've never heard of them. I found these at Whole Foods. Uh, I saw them and I had to try them. They cost $6.29, but I guess these spicy ones were on sale. So they ended up being uh, $4. And we got a prime discount on both of these, 10% off. So if you watch any of my videos before, you know that I'm addicted to chips. That's probably how I got fat in the first okay. place. I like uh, chips and salty foods. So ever since I started keto, I've been using uh, pork rinds as my go-to for whenever I'm craving that kind of crunchy chip feeling. I've also tried protein chips, but I wasn't a huge fan of those. And so yeah, anytime I see something new, I definitely want to try that, especially if it's going to help me stay on the keto diet. On top of liking salty food, I do enjoy spicy food, so I'm looking forward to this spicy flavor here. But before we get into these, let me go over the nutritional facts. I'll go over the Nashville hot first. I looked at the nutritional facts for both, and they're pretty close to each other's, but I'll cover them individually. This one right here, serving size is 15 chips, which is 30 grams. There are two servings in this entire bag, which is actually pretty good. So 60 grams total for this bag. Each serving is 170 calories, 10 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, which is one of sugar. So nine grams times two servings, that's 18 grams. So if I eat this whole bag, it'll get me really close to my limit for the day. But knowing that, I'll probably try to keep it to half the bag just for whenever I'm craving something. So as excited as I am about this flavor and this new product, uh, obviously it doesn't beat pork rinds with zero uh, carbs, but uh, it's good to have options. So here we go, the, it has seven grams of protein. Top ingredients are chicken chips, uh, natural chicken, tapioca flour. So we'll start out with these. It has a nice little groove here, so you can open the bag easily. I will re be reclosing this. Ooh, that smell is strong. It's a good smell. It's like a buffalo wing kind of smell. Ooh, strong, strong. Okay, so here we go. First one. Mm. They look like the barbecue lays. The color and then the spices on it looks like the barbecue lays. So that's what you're looking at. It has waves on it. She thinks it's spicy. Mm. Good flavor. Good crunch. Mm. It is a little spicy. I like it. Mm. So I like the flavor. I like the crunch. I don't like the... It's not the aftertaste, but the texture afterwards is a little bit powdery. Uh, it's almost like sand. It's almost like you're chewing on like thin sand. It reminds me a lot of the protein chips from Quest, where the texture was really powdery. So the flavor, it smells good and everything. I'm not a huge fan of the texture at the end. Okay, so we'll move on to the next flavor. Okay. These right here are the same price, but they weren't on sale, so they were $6.29. All right, the nutritional facts for this one are pretty similar. 15 chips, 30 grams. Give me spiel holes. Two servings per bag, 170 calories, 11 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, no sugar, and seven grams of protein. And same thing, top ingredients is chicken chip, this, uh, and tapioca flour. All right, so let's open this one up. This one doesn't hit, the smell for this one doesn't hit you as strong as the other one. It's light. In fact, Your breath is not in fact, just smelling it right out of the bag, it smells old. So hopefully we didn't get like an old bag. Let's see. It doesn't have an expo. 
Best Buy, September 15, 2019. We're in June, so three more months. Is that like an average amount? Yeah, it does smell kind of old, like uh, rancid though. Yes. I'm not a huge fan of the, the smell. The actual chips looks a little bit similar to the last one with uh, less red though. Not good. Oh wow. Ooh. I think they're rancid. Not that much vinegar. You don't even taste the flavor until the end. In the beginning, there's like this weird oil taste. I wonder if we have an old bag. Because I don't know if you ever smelled old oil, like olive oil or, or vegetable oil. Once it gets to a certain age, it's not that good. And that's how it, this thing tastes and smells. No, honey. The flavor hits you right in the beginning. When it first hits you, it's good. Like you feel, I, I can taste the salt, I can taste the vinegar a little bit. But then that rancid taste just kind of kicks in and it's not great. Seems like she's liking it. Te gusta? Poquito? It's a good texture, similar texture to this one. Nice crunch. It doesn't feel as sandy, as powdery as this one right here. The flavor is really good right there when it hits you. And then it just fades and that, that taste of old oil comes in. I'm gonna have to buy another bag and, and check that one because, because if that's the taste for this, it's not a great taste. But if it's just like an old bag or something, then, uh, then it has potential. Yeah, that sea salt and vinegar is nice, but uh, I can't get over that oily, rancid taste. So we have to do a uh, check back on this one. Right now I like the flavor and the crunch for this one, but the sandy kind of powdery taste afterwards, or the not taste, the texture afterwards is not great. This one right here, texture is good throughout from beginning to end. Taste is really good when it hits you, but whatever that is, whatever that rancid kind of oily taste is, I'm hoping it's just on this bag. So. We'll see, if I buy another bag and I find the taste to be different, I'll update this video or put it on the comment section below. If not, then the review stays. So that's it, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I have a bunch of videos coming up. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have another product that you want me to check out, either to do a taste test on because you tried it before and you enjoyed it, or because you've heard of a product that you want to buy but you aren't sure yet and I can do a taste test on that. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!